We were approached by Tufton in 2020 and we started to shape a project for installing rotor sails on one of their Camsomax vessels. Fuel efficiency in general is a very important initiative for Tufton. What interested us about rotor sails specifically is that they're a single technology that can deliver 10 or possibly more percent fuel savings, whereas other devices typically save three to five percent each. It's a single technology that can materially decrease the carbon footprint of a vessel. When looking at which vessels to fit rotor cells to, we chose a Cansamax bulk carrier vessel, it's 84,000 tonne vessel. The Cansamax was selected as a vessel type because Anime had vast experience working with this vessel class, this specific design. This set good foundations to have a successful and smooth integration design and installation. Anamo is one of the few who we've come across who actually do the rail deployment and that's very important to be able to move the sails from one side of the vessel to the other side of the vessel. Also Anamoy had been quite proactive in getting Classification Society approval for their designs and the rail system in the first place. A transverse rail system was chosen to be the deployment type for this vessel. This enables the rotors to be fitted on center line but for port operations can be relocated and moved to port or starboard side so we don't foul or interfere with cargo operations. We conducted a thorough port study where we surveyed many ports to understand whether the vessel would be accepted and any challenges we would have. Anamoy have, if you like, held our hand the whole way along through this process. They provided various other services, mainly in conjunction with the shipyard. We've dealt with very professional people, I think, from the technical point of view and also the commercial um, side. They've been very pragmatic. So I think the professional approach of the staff at Anamoy have uh, helped to make this project a great success. We recognise that it's new technology and not many people know the process or how to realise a project, so we offer these services to support the customer, make their life as easy as possible and offer a number of technical services, including the integration design, support with the full approval and plan approval process with class, and supervision and project management of the onboard installation. We've also had engineers on board supporting during the maiden voyage to make sure that the sea acceptance testing is completed and the crew are familiar and well trained in operating the system. We do expect savings of greater than 10%. We're currently looking at other vessels where the rotor sails could fit very well, but we're also actually looking at adding this type of vessel to our portfolio specifically so we can retrofit them with similar types of rotor sails. Shipping is a fairly risk averse uh, industry technology-wise. We have been quite surprised that the industry in general has not adopted energy savings devices generally, but wind propulsion more specifically, more readily than it has. I think this is now starting to accelerate uh, quite significantly. A lot of new builds now are called wind ready, and even some are being ordered with wind rotors being part of the design from construction.